Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Joe Varacalli. I hold the rank of State University of New York Distinguished Service Professor within the SUNY system of higher education. In 2000, I founded and have since directed the NCC Center for Catholic Studies. Let me open by stating that your presence here today both honors Nassau Community College and its Center for Catholic Studies. Many of you have generously supported the center financially and in other ways over the years. Without such support, the center could simply not exist. I thank you sincerely for all of your support. Let me also offer my profound gratitude to today's speakers who have so graciously agreed to participate in today's conference on Catholicism and economics, democratic socialist, democratic capitalist, and distributist options. Charles Clark, Michael Novak, Thomas Stork, and Stephen Crayson have all earned, at the very, very least, national reputations. And quite frankly, I'm a bit surprised, but very pleased to have been able to bring them to Nassau Community College. The conference program, which was on the seats, I see most of you have it, uh, provides for today's, uh, the schedule for today's activities, and it also contains biographical statements that outlines at least some, it gives you just a taste of the substantial career contributions that these individuals have made to the academy, to society, and to Mother Church. I have a few housekeeping items to announce. Facilities are outside of the multipurpose room to the right. There will be a brief 20-minute coffee, coffee break at around 2.30. Note the following upcoming center events. On Saturday, May 2nd, Boston College philosopher Peter Kreeft speaks on the topic of Christianity and modernity meet, Pascal's Ponce. On Saturday, May 30th, there will be an all-day conference on youth and the future of the pro-life movement, which will involve anywhere from 16 to 18 high school and college students with professors and other pro-life leaders serving as presentation discussants. At the May 30th conference, three recently de deceased and extraordinarily distinguished Catholic priest scholars and pro-life advocates, Father Francis Canavan, S.J. of Fordham University, Monsignor William Smith of Dunwoody Seminary, and Father Richard J. Newhouse, editor of First Things Magazine, will be briefly honored for their lifelong contributions to the defense and promotion of human life from the moments of conception through to natural death. Material for these events can be found on the sign-up table. If you know today that you want to attend either the CREFT or Youth Conference uh, event, fill out the form before you leave and place it in the box at the sign-up table. That will save you a stamp and a trip to the mailbox. Uh, let me also note that there is a possibility, a possibility that today's event, which is being taped, might find its way to the websites of the Society for Distributism. I will provide further information about this possibility in my forthcoming Catholic Center update newsletter, and Richard Aylman will communicate in the future to his society members about this possibility. Let me also immediately thank Richard <clears throat> for the incredible amount of assistance he has afforded me in preparation for today's conference. Now, the major purpose of today's conference focuses on the issue of the compatibility or a lack of compatibility of Catholicism with its understanding of the proper destiny of the human being with three economic systems, democratic socialism, democratic capitalism, and distributism in both their real and ideal forms. Many important ancillary issues, I suspect, <clears throat> will also be br brought up. <clears throat> a few might be the issue of the compatibility of any enlightenment-based vision with Catholicism, the compatibility of the three systems with democracy, the ability of the three systems to generate and distribute wealth, the applicability of each system to contemporary, modern, large-scale, pluralistic, and complex social contexts, and whether or not there is a, is that, whether or not there is any possible and distinctive Catholic third way 
between socialism and capitalism, or whether the Catholic approach should be to attempt to apply Catholic principles to sufficiently modify an economic system to make it at least minimally compatible with the Catholic vision. The idea for this conference was originally conceived by myself as part of a broader intellectual project to attempt to articulate the, par the parameters of authentic Catholic thinking across a host of issues ranging from political responsibility, issues of war and peace, the role of women in church and society, liturgical options, among a host of others. The goal would be to distinguish between those positions antithetical to the faith versus those that are a matter of prudential application. However, the recent and severe downturn in the American economy has obviously added more urgency and interest to the issues that will be discussed at today's conference. It is my understanding, moreover, that Pope Benedict XVI is presently writing an encyclical that will provide an analysis of and reflection on the current worldwide financial crisis. The format of today's event is as follows. First, there will be three brief tributes given to three recently great, uh, deceased great Catholic priests and intellectuals, Cardinal Avery Dulles of Fordham, Michael, Monsignor Michael Wren of Dunwoody, and Father Richard J. Newhouse, editor of First Things Magazine, for their distinguished career accomplishments. These great individuals deserve much more than brief tributes, but given the limitations of this humble Center for Catholic Studies, the practical alternatives were to either let their passing to the other side of the Great Divide go uncommented on, or at least briefly note at a center event their importance to the academy, society, and the church. And I have chosen the latter route. After the completion of the three tributes, the three major presenters, Charles Clark, Michael Novak, and Thomas Stork, will make 30-minute presentations on the subjects of Catholicism and respectively democratic socialism, democratic capitalism, and distributism, then a brief coffee break. Then there will be brief exchanges in which each of the three speakers will have the opportunity to ask the other two a critical question or two to respond to. Then there will be a final summary statement by the three speakers. The program com concludes with a brief re reflection by Dr. Stephen Crayson on the conference themes from the perspective of Heinrich Pesch, SJ, whose scholarly work was influential in shaping of the great social encyclical Quadragesimo Anno by Pope Pius XI in 1931. Pesch's work in economics and solidarism also influenced John Paul II and is today being further developed through the work of SUNY Buffalo Professor Emeritus of Economics, Dr. Rupert Ederer. As you can see by perusing the conference program, the program is a tight one. Monsignor Robert Batul will assist me through gently, or not so gently, reminding the speakers during their talks about how much time they have left for their presentations. The tight nature of the program, furthermore, allows for no audience participation. The program must end on schedule, furthermore, because of the commitments of at least two of the four speakers. I know I speak for all in the expectation of a conference both intellectually stimulating and enlightening.